What is up guys, today I got this little video about a new product one of my buddies is selling. Um, but anyways, a lot of us have this MHD adapter, very useful for like flashing your car wirelessly or you know having data logs show on our phones or if you have an Android unit like I do, you can see your data over there. Um, but my only problem with this thing has been that it's kind of like been sticking out and I would love to put my OBD cover back on here to just kind of make it a little bit more, I don't know, hidden and kind of away a little bit more stealth. Um, so my buddy actually made a new cover for this MHD adapter. He uh, 3D printed it himself um, and he's actually going to sell them now. So you can sell them in any color basically you want. Um, but I ordered one that is the same color as the MHD adapter. If you ever take a closer look at your actual MHD adapter you can actually kind of see that the circuit board is pretty shallow in this actually pretty massive housing. So my buddy made this one over here. Um, his Instagram is at nose for ratu, kind of funny. But um, this is the thickness of his new sort of cap for the circuit board. Here's a good side by side view. This also works for the Thor adapters if you have one of those as well. Um, but probably most of you guys are going to have this MHD adapter right here, which this works perfectly with. And we can put the OBD cover back on. You won't even see this anymore. Um, and I like this translucent orange finish because you can still see the lights of the adapter to make sure it's still working. To take your original adapter apart, you want to take a little pick tool in the top of the adapter, the bottom. It doesn't really matter which side. If it would focus, it would be great. Um, but you'll kind of see there are four little tabs holding it in, two on each side, top and bottom. Once you get those two out, it kind of just pops out like so. On this new cap, you'll see that one side is completely flat, one long side is completely flat like this has a little notch in it, and the other side has kind of a slope to it. So you're going to want to put the new, or rather the uh, existing MHD adapter or Thor, whichever one you have, with the smaller end of the OBD port facing the slope side. As you can see, there's kind of a notch over here, so that kind of makes sense. All right, so here I've got it all set up, ready to go back in the car. I um, just want to reiterate, so the bottom of the OBD port, or the longer side, is on the same side as the notch or the cutout or the flat side of the 3D printed cap. All right, now this is just going like so. And as you can see with the nice translucent cover, you can see that still the LED is visible. Uh, I'm not sure if all the colors are like that, but I know this translucent orange one that matches the original MHT sort of casing does show the LEDs through. Now there's just one step left to do, which is take your OBD cap right over here. It's the original one that came on my car. And then uh, you want to go ahead and fold in these two little tabs down here. So the ones on the curve itself, they don't provide any structural support at all, they're just kind of there, I guess, as placeholders, but I'm going to be bending them over, and they just kind of break uh, with my finger. You can kind of see I just did that, and now they can kind of break off. There you go, so bent up that one over there, that one there, and also bent this one off because it wasn't really doing anything anyway, so I just took it off. And now it should fit basically flush, or almost perfect, in the car. And yeah, check it out, there it is. So our MHD adapter is actually there behind the OBD cover. So now, it's more of a stealth kind of look if you get pulled over by a cop for some reason, and they happen to notice some MHD lights down below. They're not going to ask any questions about it, um, which is good. Um, overall, just more of a stealth look. I kind of like not seeing the that the, the kind of big orange thing in the way. Um, but the MHD adapter is so like functional and it's so easy to use that um, I never would not want to have it there. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. So hit up my guy knows for Ratsu. I'll put his Instagram right here and also in the description below. Again, here's his Instagram right here. He has a space gray 92 with a really custom carbon interior. Uh, but check him out. He's making some other 3D printing stuff. He also sells some pretty cheap carbon. Um, that's pretty good quality. So highly recommend this guy. Check him out.